Hello and welcome to another Robo Deck Designer video. I'm Paul Roberts and this video here is about all about the different parts that make up a deck, or in other words, the anatomy of a deck. This video has been prepared using New Zealand terminology and building codes, but this would be similar to other countries, so let's not muck around and get stuck straight into it. So I've got together a drawing of a sample deck with handrails which is 1.5 metres high and we'll use this as a base. So we'll start off with the posts. With the posts here we're using a 125 by 125mm H grade post and we've also got concrete for the post hole and also a D6 reinforcing rod. The reinforcing rod is bent over in a semicircle at the top and the bottom. There'll be differences with the post details in other countries around the world. Another point to consider is that the depth may be deeper here for anchor piles. For earthquake bracing, either anchor piles will be used or bracing of the piles, depending on the height of the deck. The first example is for a bearer using braced piles. Obviously we have the post, there's bracing to meet the earthquake bracing requirements. We also have stainless steel and 12 fasteners holding things together. For a bearer using anchor piles, the bracing isn't there, but there's damp proof course between the post and the bearer. With the ledger or stringer, this is attached to the house and provides supports for the joist. This will be slightly different if the deck was attached to a concrete foundation wall or a timber frame. We'll start off with the first option. We have the ledger or stringer itself, the masonry fixing and the damp proof course. For attaching a deck to the timber frame, it's a bit different. There's a 12mm timber packer, an ED sorry, an EPDM washer and a 12mm stainless steel bolt with a 50mm square washer. For the joist, this gets a bit more interesting. You have the joist running perpendicular to the bearers. There's also a double joist around the perimeter of the deck. There's also blocking providing supports for the joist through the centre of the deck. There's also 6 kN straps attaching the joist to the double boundary joists. Also, nail cleats attach the joist framework to the bearer. There's also the decking, and this image only is a small part showing for clarity. Something I haven't touched on is the nails. Now, the nails are all different sizes and are actually specified in the New Zealand building code. Something else is the nail cleats attaching the joist to the ledger. For decks and handrails, there's the handrail post, the intermediate post, the top rail, and the bottom rail. For the steps, the main part here is a stringer. The stringer is attached to the concrete post using a stainless steel strap. The step threads are made from the decking. There's also blocking between the stringers. For the handrail, there's a stainless steel handrail. This might seem unnecessary, but unfortunately it's required due to the New Zealand building codes. The rest of the handrail details are similar to the previous image. For decks with a pergola, there's a pergola beam, there's T-plates, and L plates attached, attaching the pergola beam to the post. There's also pergola rafters, joist hangers and a ledger holding things together. Well in a nutshell that's all there is actually making up a deck. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to check out the Robo Deck Designer website. Also don't forget to check out the Robo Deck Designer online tool for creating your own deck drawings online within minutes. We'll catch you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. Thank you.